Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Manpads, artilleries and anti-tank guided missiles. These are the three vital weapon system that Indian Army needs badly. Manpads such as a Stinger missile has inflicted heavy damage on Russian aircrafts. Artilleries have destroyed their armored columns and this is the reason why they are called king of war. Anti-tank guided missiles have matured till an extent that modern main battle tanks have no answers to it. As per the latest report from Hindu, Army has inducted a small number of Igla S system bought from Russia under emergency procurement. However, a bigger deal of Igla S system is still pending and under review by Defense Ministry and considering the present situation and economic sanctions on Russia, this deal may not be inked. The contract for emergency procurement of Iglias was signed in December 2020 and was delivered by December 2021. This includes 24 launchers and 216 missiles and testing equipments. Besides, Bharat Dynamics Limited BDL has also signed a contract with Indian Army worth rupees 4. 171.41 crore for refurbishment of IGLA 1M missile, the older ones under Indian Army's inventory. The refurbishment will give the missile life of additional 10 years. The Indian Army and Air Force have been fielding the old Soviet era IGLA manpad system to meet their respective short range point defense requirement against aerial threats. These systems are almost four decades old and need urgent replacement in both the services as part of overall modernization programs for the entire range of air defense weapons. The Indian Army alone needs 5,175 V-Shurad missiles with 800 launcher systems. The figure could easily touch 6,000 missiles and 900 to 1,000 launchers by adding the Indian Air Force requirements. The hunt for Vishwaraid deal has began back in 2010 and saw several rounds of trials and retrials. However, still after almost more than a decade, the deal is yet not finalized. So now let's also try to understand what's the capabilities and the progress of indigenous manpad. DRDO's manpad is going to be state-of-art system which will feature an autonomous manpad data link AMDL in its launcher. Now this is not just any feature but a game changer for a manpad. Hyderabad based Geno Robotics along with Bharat Electronics Limited is jointly developing the AMDL system. It is first of its kind air defense solution that brings the isolated and alone manpad operator into a networked environment. The AMDL is a first of its kind mesh networked, centrally integrated, AR VR enabled and AI ML edge enabled last mile C4I system that is capable of connecting multiple manpad operators into a single mesh and network and link them into a single command to deliver highest hit rate and zero collateral damage. C4I is a short form of command, control, communication, computers and intelligence. Generally, this type of technology is used in forward air defense system. DRDO's manpad will also deliver highest situation awareness for the shooter and maximum degree of control with augmented intelligence and voice commands. Currently, all manpadable air defense system are usually operated by one gunner and observer in a very hostile environment with almost no linkage to a local command or other operators and are not integrated to central command center. The DIDO's manpad is also known as MPDMS or VSHORAD. It will also feature dual band infrared homing seeker and multispectral optical seeker. The missile can carry up to 25 kgs of warhead. It will have fire and forget capability. Manpads of TRDO will be able to engage aerial targets in day and night. 
it will have a horizontal range of 6 kilometers and vertical range of 3 km. However, its detection range will be much larger. As per the latest update, DRDO's VSHORAD development has been fast tracked and expected to complete by first quarter of 2023. We can soon expect the development trials of the indigenous manpad. It will be used by Indian Army, Air Force and Navy as a point defense system. The Indochina border across LSE is obstructed by mountains, which limits the capability of various radars in detecting the aircrafts and especially when they are flying, hugging the terrains. This is where manpads are going to be a game changer as it will be able to take down the low flying fighter jets and helicopters at ease. This type of system is used for short range point defense where the enemies are at very close range of 5 to 6 kilometers. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.